Hi everyone, it is 2023 and I am excited. I just wanted to quickly start off with saying a huge thank you because last year was a huge uh, step out into the unknowns for me. Samet and I started Ataka Garage years ago. We started a YouTube channel with Ataka Garage years ago and we did a couple of meets and a few Mitsuri videos that Sam edited. Um, and then we really did nothing with the channel for a very, very long time. And I took a step, uh, step out uh, into that unknown uh, last year. And I just took that leap of faith that we could transition the workshop into a, a YouTube channel. Um, and I was blown away by the reception from you guys. So again, I just wanted to pass on that thank you. I did not think we could nearly get two and a half thousand subs and 1500 watch hours in our first year. I thought that would take us a couple of years to even see those kind of numbers. So I'm, I'm really, really happy. It makes me really, really excited and confident coming into this year with something that I'm new, like it's a year in. I'm still new to this YouTube thing. I'm still learning this YouTube thing. So, you know, we've got a few goals for this year. I'd like to double what we did last year. I'd like to hit 5,000 subs and about 3,000 watch hours. It's still short of being monetized, but I think it's a, a fair goal. And I would really appreciate all your support and continued support uh, this year. So um, I look forward to that. I look forward to finishing a few of these projects and I look forward to finally uh, this year starting one of my own personal projects and I, you know, I'm, I'm very excited about that build. I've got a lot planned and there's a lot to do and I just wanted to start off with uh, sharing a little bit about the experience that I had last year. Last year was a very up and down year for me. Um, I had a lot of highs but a lot of really lows and through the support of the people closest to me, but also extended through some of the customers and you know some of the comments in this comment section. The support has been overwhelming and the reaction and receivement of us taking on and endeavoring into YouTube has just been so positive and so welcoming that like I'm really excited for this year and I'm so grateful for everything that we achieved last year because we couldn't have done it without you. And for that, again, I just say thank you. The idea and the thought of transitioning into a YouTube channel was daunting. Uh, I am not a very comfortable person in front of a camera, so last year was a huge learning curve. It's taken me all week to even muster up the courage to sit down and start to film this. So, you know, social media, I have no idea what I'm doing. So. You know, on that note, like a big thank you to Ash, big thank you to Zach Baldwin, and a big thanks to Maddie because those three were, you know, absolute pillars when it comes to this YouTube stuff last year because their experience, their expertise, and just their simple encouragement and assistance in so many different areas have really helped me to get to where I am today, where I'm even comfortable enough when there's no one else here and I can film this. So we've got Brad's S15 obviously still unfinished. We've got exhaust to make, tail shaft to make, um, finish off all the plumbing and a little bit of wiring and that car is finished. We're down to that last 10% of the car which generally takes the longest because it's the most fiddly. Um, but it's so close to being finished and we're really excited to, to be near doing the first startup for that and start like ironing out all the kinks, ironing out all the tuning and the traction control software side of things and just dialing in that car because it's something special. It's something special to me. Um, I hope it's something cool and in some way a, a special thing for you as well to, to be able to view and watch. Um, I know that I've been reached out by three different uh, people, you know, asking questions on their specific uh, RB26 swapped S15s. So I'm excited to see that more people are doing it and that what we're doing here and what we're filming is sort of encouraging people and showing them that it's totally possible, that you can do it, you can put your mind to it and it's achievable. Um, so yeah, we're excited to get Brad's S15 done this year um, and hopefully finish it very soon. Um, I spoke with Ash again this year with his Falcon um, so we had a meeting the other week and we sat down, made some plans and we'll start filming 
uh, again and putting out new episodes because I know there's been quite a few comments and people reaching out asking when we're going to do more uh, content on that Falcon. So what we're thinking of doing is reverting everything back on the 2.3 sensor wise to the 2 litre plugging in the Falcon ECU and then retuning uh, the factory Falcon ECU to see what results we can get, get the car running and driving, and then we can work out, okay, like we wanna put the you know Mustang intake manifold, which arguably looks like it flows a lot more and a lot better. Um, so we do wanna try and upgrade to that, but we this will allow us to get the car running, driving, and then find any uh, solutions for those things while the car is actually drivable so um, we will be doing the car that way but we will be developing the build further so that way anyone else wanting to do the 2.3 swap you can find our hiccups you can find that you know you can simply do it this way if you wanted more performance then these things become you know your option from there and the, the biggest part is just CAN bus communication and how we can uh, get around that and uh, so yeah that will be a whole process and we're excited to sort of learn that process and share as much of that process with you guys as well over that build so I hope you're excited for that one. Uh, we have the Volvo, uh, a different Matthew. Uh, but we have Matt's uh, 1JZ Volvo. Um, you know, we've done a lot of the fab work for that um, and it's sort of ready for wiring and plumbing as well. Um, and you know, that's gonna be a really excited, uh, exciting build. We've got Dylan's car lined up. Um, Dylan has an R32 with an RB25. Um, and yeah, they're very similar to what Brad has done Dylan wants to sort of build a really nice street car that is show car level um, and I'm excited to take that one on the paint and what he has had done so far it seems like a really cool base for us to start with and help him meet his goals and dreams for what he wants that vehicle to be um, and have fun doing it so follow along for that process um, and then yeah, I, I sort of alluded to it before. I have a S12 Silvia or S12 Gazelle for us here in Australia is what they're known as. And uh, because of someone in the comment sections that reached out to me, I was able to pick up an FJ20. I was gonna do an SR20 uh, conversion, but um, RSX uh, S12s in Japan came out with an FJ20 Turbo and it's the grandfather to the SR20. It's a cast iron block and you can produce some really nasty horsepower out of those engines. So I think the, what I wanted to do, which is like a resto mod style build on that S12, I think using the FJ20 will be, uh, will be a really great platform. As we get closer to actually kicking that one off on the channel, um, I will sort of reveal more of what's happening there, but yeah, for now it's we're still in that planning process and talking to a lot of people. So I'm pushing to have that one started this year and at least uh, at least start filming and working on one of my own personal projects because it's been a few years since I've had a personal project that I've driven around and gone to car meets in. So I really look forward to, to finishing a car for myself and uh, being able to get out and do more more things where I'm going to car shows, going to car meets and events and uh, getting to see a lot more of your friendly faces in person because when I have popped my head out and been sociable you guys have always been really welcome and really friendly so thank you. Yeah so we've made made a bunch of changes around the shop um, so that we can improve the lighting, we can improve the sound. By the end of the year I really would like to be in a position where we're doing a video every week even if it's not an episode of this every week, um, but I do want to do more technical videos where I get into the nitty gritty, nerdy details um, with the science behind you know, what it is to be a mechanic. Because I feel that anyone could be a mechanic and genuinely anyone uh, can do this. If you understand a little bit about physics and understand a little bit about chemistry, you've got the foundations for being a terrific mechanic. So if there's any technical videos, whether it comes to picking injectors, picking a turbo, um, you know, 
how to build a car for high response, you know, technical breakdowns on specific engines, their pros, their cons, their do's, their don'ts. If there's anything like that, uh, you know, setting up your steering, you know, understanding steering, understanding suspension and geometry, like if there's any videos like that that you guys, you know, want to see, let me know because I want to try and keep the main uh, actual videos a bit more entertaining than technical but I also am a massive nerd so <laughs> I, I will be more than happy to oblige and make specific videos for those that also want to learn and nerd out and get really deep into some of the knowledge and the information of uh, what it is to be a mechanic or how to be a mechanic or tuner or etc etc because it may just lead to you choosing a, a career path in the automotive industry or being able to pursue this as a hobby and build your own cars and build your own dreams and come to car meets and I get to see them and you know be impressed as to, to what you guys have built and what your vision has uh, brought forth so yeah big encouragement on that I would really really like to sort of look back on what I achieved on YouTube and be able to say that you know more than I built all these other cool cars is that I had an influence on so many people being able to take a step out of their comfort zones and start to build their own projects so yeah so lastly this is this would be it I'm signing off um, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that uh, placed orders last year and chose our workshop to supply them their parts that they need. Um, we're hoping to make more improvements on our website this year and stock a lot more stuff so that we can have faster turnarounds for getting the products out to you. So bear with us on that as we really push to expand uh, that area so we can support you better. Um, not just with these sort of videos, but with actual supplying the parts as well. So don't forget, jump on atakagarage.com.au and head over to our online store. Um, check out what we have there. If you don't see what you need, just reach out to us on our socials or via email. All those links are on our website as well. And we can answer any of your questions. We can help guide you on which product you may specifically need and help you build the car that you want to build. Um, and then off of that, um, as I mentioned earlier with what we wanted to achieve with uh, getting to 5,000 subscribers, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, I really encourage you to subscribe to this channel. I encourage you to share it with your friends. It, it's such a broken record thing for, for YouTubers to say and do is to like, comment and subscribe, but it genuinely makes the biggest difference and you know because for some reason human nature we like to just watch things and youtube algorithms i've been lucky enough to uh, give this to people and put this in front of people but if you would like to see more of it please subscribe please turn on that notification comment on the videos um, share it with your friends talk about it with your friends and um yeah uh, the more success I see here, the more I can give back. So yeah, so again, like, comment, subscribe. It really, really does help. And uh, we look forward to seeing you this year. And I hope you look forward to seeing more of our content this year. See you in the next episode.